Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our In Christ series is Understanding Your Ecosystem Part 4 and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Colossians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Since the start of the month, we've been gliding on the wings of the Spirit of God, trying to understand and meditate on the reality of our identity in Christ. All through this week, we have stayed on Colossians 2, 9 and 10. And just the last day, we started looking at some of the implications of the truth contained in our anchor scripture on our lives as believers. A few days prior, I gave an analogy of an empty cup being immersed into a large body of water. And I spoke about us believers being the cup that is inserted into the ecosystem of Christ. And as I thought more about this, I remembered the story in 1 Samuel chapter 4. The Philistines had captured the Ark of the Covenant, the physical representation of God's presence amongst the children of Israel. And they kept the Ark in the shrine of their God called Dagon. The Bible says more than once, without the intervention of any human force, their Dagon was found face down, falling before the Ark of God. At a point, Dagon fell and his hands and his limbs were destroyed by the fall. Dagon himself, a deity worshipped by people, had to bow in the presence of God. My dear person listening, if we are in Christ and Christ is filled with all of God and we are immersed into this location where all of God exists, then we are full of God. We are like that ark. We are carrying the presence of God. And Dagon's and all the hosts of hell will bow to the God whom we carry and embody. Does it now make sense why demons would see Jesus afar off and start to scream? They were compelled to worship the God whom Jesus was embodying. Someone is listening to me now and is saying, if all this is true, why is this not our experience more often? Two main reasons I can think of. First, what we shared in the first few episodes. To really be in Christ, Jesus must be Lord of all. The degree to which we surrender to the Lordship of Christ in all aspects of our lives will be the degree to which we can lay claims to the power inherent in our location. I mean, just look at Jesus. I do what the Father says only, he continued to say. No wonder he walked in such tremendous dimensions of the power of God. The second reason I can think of, is that it is possible that we are not conscious of this reality and that we have not meditated on it to the point where beyond head knowledge, it has taken root in our spirit. There is a thermometer of understanding in the spirit. Anything you do without understanding counts for much less than it should. Praise, prayer, giving, anything at all. So if we intend to become all of what God has prepared for us to be in experience, we must take out time to meditate, turn over, think about and speak these truths until they become solidly rooted in our spirit. We are complete and full in Christ, who is the head of every principality and power. This is who we are. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. We receive the grace to really believe you when you tell us who we are. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.